It's okay, Paul. I'm good. I'm going to do this on my own. Gotcha. Good luck. Have fun. Have a good time. Learn a lot. Go do it on your own. But let me tell you, before you actually disregard all of this stuff and just try to do this shit on your own, there are reasons to actually gain access to somebody whose expertise comes from a long line of learning how to do this and learning how to teach it to others. You see, can you do it on your own? Yeah, it's possible, sure. One way or another, you pay. You either pay in money to accelerate the amount of time that it takes to learn stuff, or you pay in time. And for the most part, in your life, you have been learning from teachers, even starting at a very young age, you've been learning from teachers who accelerate your growth. They shorten the amount of time it takes to learn something. You can learn certain aspects of math, geometry, in one semester or two semesters a school year, right? If you were to try to learn that stuff on your own, with no one teaching you, it would be a challenge. Now, certain things you can learn just by, you know, going to, you know, Khan Academy and learning how to code. There are bona fide, simple, straightforward ways of expressing code that you can learn by just memorizing certain formulas and practicing. But with something like your masterful self-expression skills, that stuff comes with somebody who can be there, listen to your issues, see you for who you are, where you are in time, and comment on that in order to move you where you need to be. With an understanding of which things to focus on in order to get there, and which things to avoid. That is why, you know, someone like me, I have been doing this since 1987, and I taught myself how to do a lot of these things over these 30 many years. And that is why when I teach, when I listen to someone and then give them critique and commentary, I can speak to the issues that not only ought to be focused on now, but the ones that should be avoided. So I can shave weeks, months, and years off of someone's learning curve. Now the other thing here, and this is a slightly intangible, but I want you to get this, okay? You are inside you. You are emotionally attached to everything you do, say, think of, and try to bring forward. You have a subjective understanding of what it is that you're doing and what is required for other people outside. Outside you, they will absorb things. Some of it will be an emotional subjective understanding, but most of it will come across at first as an objective understanding and the person inside you, that subjective crit critic, that person cannot actually parse and sort, sort through the objective issues. So can you do this on your own? Sure. What's required is knowing how to examine stuff with both a subjective and an objective understanding and put those together. And that's where you have an invested objective outside eye in someone like me, for example, to be able to see how the things come across from an external standpoint, and what objectively needs to be examined and then implemented in order to get things done. That's the issue. That's the difference. And that's actually why it is such a long learning curve if done unassisted. So, like I said before, you pay in time, shortened or lengthened. Your choice, your call, that's what this stuff is. Can you do it on your own? Maybe. Can you do it with someone else who knows? 100%.